Hi, my name is Adam Ore, and today we're going to locate the big schools of perch waiting to spawn in early spring. So I'm going to walk you guys through the BFT Lizard X rod series. What a way to start the morning. Triple S jig head, they suck the lure in and I, you punch it through. Look at these bad boys. Yellow perch, northern perch, whatever you call it. But perch is a beautiful fish. And in the right element at its best. I see five fish on the side imaging on my left. All big, heavy, bulky perch. Smaller lures, more finesse fishing. There we go. And it took, just as I spoke about the school and the momentum, Hi, my name is Adam Ore, and today we're going to locate the big schools of perch that are roaming around these areas in the southeast archipelago, waiting to spawn in early spring. I'm going to try out my new rod series, the Lizard X. We're going to go around with the tiller, checking out the sonars, and guide you guys through it. So the absolute first thing we're going to do is find the perch. And we're going to find them. They are migrating from deeper waters into the shallow base where the temperature is up. We're gonna use Hummingbird Solix with the Mega Imaging and Outer Shard Live to log our way through a big bay and find the big schools of perch. I've done some pre-work here, getting the settings right. We have the Mega Imaging, it's ready to go. We have the Outer Shard Live, and we have a Sierra Line card in there so we can map and map in all eternity. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fun. So let's get to it. So we targeted some fish and we're gonna put down the talon here, give it a go, try it out, move maybe 50 meters, search some more, but start fishing. So right now at the moment, we're in a, a sort of a deeper like basin of this bay where the fish travel through. Oh man, and they're so picky. I'm fishing the Triple S. Got the Lizard X 520 spinning rod. And uh, it has a bit softer action than the 1030, which makes me more accessible to lightweight, smaller, smaller lures, more finesse fishing. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oof. It's a nice fish, too. Oh, it's a nice one. Ah, come on. Get <laughs> First fish of the morning. Took it with the new piglet shad, 8.5 centimeter on a five gram 2.0 triple S hook. Since it's a slow current, all these small weed fragments are just drifting along the bottom together with the bait fish and these nice fish. So you need to have a weedless guided hook so you don't get snagged up. I'm gonna put this baby back. What a way to start a morning. Triple S jig head, slowly retrieved of the bottom, and you suck it in. Look at that big mouth. Beautiful fish, about 1400 grams, 1350. Such a beauty. All right, so the technique we're using, it's really cold water. It's pretty grass-free, soft bottoms. So we're fishing the weed line next to the, uh, the current sides. So when you fish the triple S jig head, I'm using a five gram 2.0 for the piglet shad 8.5 centimeter. So I'm dropping the jig slowly along the bottom, trying to find these fish when they're 
when they're searching for, for prey. We're gonna let this beautiful, highly pregnant fish go back. She's starting to suck up some water for the rum and she's ready for spawn. In about two weeks, these fish will be really far in, really shallow, dropping their precious cargo. So we're gonna make sure that we get more perch in our beautiful archipelago system. Yellow perch, northern perch, whatever you call it. But perch is a beautiful fish and in the right element at its best. Fishing has become really tricky, so we're going to use the Solix unit to find us uh, a nice school of fish. We've been looking around, around the islands, shallow bays, some deeper creeks, uh, but we're going to take a peek along the weed edges and see if we can find some fish. I'm on the edge. On my left, there's about three meters of depth. Three meters, a slow current, a lot of fish going in and out. On my right, we have a shallow bank. You know, they press onto the bank sides all the way through and they pass in big schools, small schools, big individuals mixed with smaller ones, all big, heavy, bulky perch. It's really cool because you can see them so crystal clear on the Hummingbird Solix mega imaging. So I pitch my jig out there, I drag it all along the bottom. Here we go. I see five fish on the side imaging on my left. You see like this, straight through the lip, triple S jig head, they suck the lure in and I, you punch it through. It's super effective, probably one of the, the best offset hooks to use when fishing like this. It's a smaller size of the original pig, uh, and uh, since you have it more slimmed down in every aspect, you have a more erratic movement, which makes it optimal for fishing like this. So this is a really nice fish. It's about 12, 1300 grams. We're gonna put it in a live well for a while and then uh, take a quick photo of it and let it go. But the bite is on and we're gonna try to catch a bunch more of these ones and hopefully a really big one. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the BFT Lizard X rod series. It's a rod series that I designed. It's a high modulus blank carbon wrapped X wrap from the bottom to the tip. This provides super strength to a super light blank. On these rods, we have a compressed carbon reel seat, microwave line control system guides, which helps you cast with precision and target the exact spot you want to, your lure to end up in. These rods are available in two spinning models and one casting model. The spinning ones, we have a 520 gram and we have a 1030. The 1030 is 7.6. It's a, it's a catapult. It's a, it's a really distance rod. It's super nice for drop shotting, heavier blades, crankbaits, traditional jigging. It's a really versatile rod. I've been using this rod as a drop shot combined with some traditional jigging and some offset hooks. The 520 gram is a personal fa favorite. It's super fast, but the tip action doesn't really flex too much. You have a nice backbone that helps the rod pressure the fish and set the hooks. Well, when I've been setting the hooks on this one, it's a, it's a blast, it's so fun. And one of my favorites of these three is this one. I think I'm gonna use this one the most in the summer season. It's a bait caster, it's 35 grams. Don't get afraid of the high weight class, but it's really nice. You have a lot of power, but a lot of stretch. So fishing with a jerk bait, traditional jig, creature baits, blade baits, you name it. It's super versatile. And this is a, a little bit of a cool thing for you guys. They're all numbered. So if you want to get your hands on one of the Lizard X perch rods, I suggest you go to your local tackle shop and check them out. We will be available from March 2019 and forward. Now there's enough of this calm weather 
chill out moment, we're gonna go and put some heavy perch in the net. So we found a, a big school of bait fish. So you can see here on the on the mega imaging of these high shadows. This is probably uh, some eyed chub whitefish, some sort of bait fish, smaller stocks, but also you see some really nice perch here as well, both the left and the right side. I'm not gonna keep these guys waiting much longer and give a go at them. spotted a, a nice school of fish is cruising up the creek here in the middle and some really big in, individuals in that school of fish I took a cast bounced it off the bottom and I got a really nice fish we're gonna show you guys later is wanna use the momentum you know when the fish are biting you put out the net put the fish in the net for a while you get the maximum Oh, there we go. Oof. Get the maximum out of the situation. Oh, this is a nice one. Ah, look at that rod go. Look at it go. Oof, oof. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a nice one. This is a real, must be a big one. Oh, toad in the net. Woohoo! Oh, man. And it took, just as I spoke about the school and the momentum. Ah, oh, look. Look how mad he is. Nice. Love to find the fish, hunker down, and just... This is the payout. When you find the fish on the Mega, you put down the talon, and you just drag your lure through there. The Lizard X 5 to 20 gram did a great job on these girls. Look at them. We're not gonna weigh these fish. We're just gonna put them back. They can go back to their spawning right All right. So it's been really slow now for quite some time. And this spot I think has done it for the day. We might drop by here later on tonight and check out the evening bite, but we need to see if we can find any new spots with some fish on the Hummingbird Solix. Okay, so we found some fish on the right side and it looks like it's a school of bigger individuals. So we're gonna give it a talon down I think and then just try it out try some different techniques see if we can get them to bite uh, if not since they're moving all the time we can just grab a new spot had a toad party. Look at these bad boys. Just shy of 1500 grams, both of them. It was like 1450 and 1480. So super nice fishes. We're gonna let these girls go back home, to spawn, get ready for it, and catch some more ones. Bye bye girls. Perch fishing at its best. This is so much fun. 
it's super easy to use the triple S hook. What I use, I use this thin fluorocarbon, 035, tie it onto the eye of the hook. The uh, center pin screw should be towards the hook. Poke the stiff end into the middle of the nose of the lure and just screw on your soft plastic on the center pin screw, just like this. Make sure you get the right side upwards. Punch the hook through the main bulk of the body, and there you go. Early spring fishing doesn't always mean perch. The pikes are active too. They put up a good fight on the perch rods, even if they're kind of small. And when you get a pike on your uh, perch lure, just check the leader after, after unhooking the fish, because this, this leader is pretty banged up. I just cut it off a bit, retie it, and good to go. But always check so you don't lose your dream fish just being sloppy. So I just uh, spiked my uh, piglet chad using a, uh, a garlic pencil, fire red, on the motor oil. Gives it a really good shine in the water with the sunlight punching in. This is a, a tip I learned from uh, one of the local heroes down here in southeast, Erik Pettersson, gave me this tip. It's uh, maybe it doesn't do any difference, but I think that the small things can do some kind of difference. So give it a try. Well, saw some fish on the side imaging, sorry, the mega imaging, and uh, took on a piglet chat, 8.5 centimeter, the new size. Uh, we weighed her, she's uh, 1,700 grams, so it's a top fish, super happy. This was a great experience. It was super. This is us signing out. Me in the perch. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys will check out the Lizard X perch rod series. And of course, get on the water, go get a new PB perch. All right, see you later. Welcome to Hollywood.